Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 737, writing a series with merchandise in mind. And I know you're wondering, 737 is not a prime number, been a while, it's divisible by 11 and 67, just for reference. There's Stanley and his little nest that he's created. All right, get this set here, all right, writing a series with merch in mind. This is something you go in with some intentionality. As you develop the series, you add in little elements that people can embrace that will be a continuity factor from one book to the next, such as custom logos. In my Space Lawyer series, I made them a custom logo for the magistrates and uh, then never did anything with it. So I, I, I was my own worst enemy with that. However, I didn't see people cosplaying uh, my main character, even though they could. It's cool. I didn't really push the series in that direction, but I could have because a magistrate, the jacket, very, uh, very unique, the logo, all kinds of things, an orange cat. Everybody needs an orange cat in their series. But those kinds of things, you can exploit them. There are places that will make patches for you. They'll make stickers, all of those. You can get them at, uh, at uh, fairly inexpensive prices. You can stockpile them. You can send them out as giveaways. You can you can put them on your table if you're doing in-person events. All kinds of great stuff that you can do that are unique. Character quirks. Uh, in military, you have challenge coins. These are coins where say, hey, I've got, I'm, I'm Special Forces. I'm a Marine. And uh, you show a coin and somebody says, hey, I've got my Marine coin. And whoever doesn't have their coin with them, well, they have to buy the round at the bar. That's the tradition. Uh, uh, so challenge coins are hugely popular as, uh, as uh, uh, collectibles for military, badges, patches, those kinds of things that people would wear that show, hey, I'm, I'm with this group, I like this. Uh, the 20 books, uh, the 50K logos that we've done that uh, show, hey, I'm, I'm part of the group, proud member. Pets always have a, like uh, Lassie, the Lassie series. Everybody wanted a uh, one of those crazy dogs, a high energy kind of lunatic dogs, but they do okay. So uh, Lassie, <clears throat> um, a reference here, we've got uh, a Princess Donut in uh, Matt Denneman's uh, Dungeon Crawler Carl series. That whole series was, uh, talking with Matt, was written with some merch in mind, but it just took off because people cosplay the character. So the, the signature uh, white boxer shorts with hearts on them, the barefoot, the knee pads with uh, spikes, the one fist, all kinds of things that are continuity elements from one series to the next. It is, it is hugely, it's a huge opportunity for people to cosplay this character, and it's a, a, a huge selling series. So this is with merch. Oh, by the way, we can do this with merch too. Unique clothing, and that's the, the cosplay potential. What makes this character unique? The Mandalorian, who never takes off his helmet, who then all of a sudden, he's always taken off his helmet. Uh, so the cosplay potential is huge, and people will, and then, hey, what character are you? I'm Carl from Dungeon Crawler Carl. I'm, I'm uh, Rifka from uh, Judge, Jury, and Executioner. What kind of unique accessories? Think about uh, Indiana Jones, that little satchel that he carries. Some might call it a man purse, but other people might call it a satchel, a, uh, a, a bivy bag, a thing that you can carry stuff in, uh, the whip the hat, all kinds of things that have you that are unique to your character, and then you can push them. You can have your merch store, and even if you're not making a whole lot right away, depending on the traction you get with your merchandise, then you can expand it later. Find a different supplier, find a better supplier, find a better uh, 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 drop shipper, so you don't have to touch any of it except they send you money every now and then because people are buying your stuff, and you can push it, have cosplay uh uh, awards, hey, best uh, best cosplayer of my character, uh, you'll get a, uh, a the entire series in paperback. I mean, some really cool prizes that you can give out for people cosplaying, and of course they'll read the books. To, it's 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 beneficial. But you write that series with the merch in mind, and it's not that you just oh hey oh by the way book one 19 books ago there was a good thing and I've I've carried it through all the books. I should probably make a patch. 
And that's me right now saying, damn it, I should probably make a patch of that or a sticker or something that people can, can buy because they love the series. 19th book just came out, 19 of 19 bestsellers. So why don't I explore a little bit more opportunity for the super fans and even the fans who say, I like this. That's a cool magistrate logo. And it is. So yeah, missing the opportunity. I missed the opportunity, did too much of other stuff, didn't do enough of that. But moving forward, we're going to do more of this and not as much as that and try to make a little more money off the merch that people want. And it's not that you're, you're in a big money grab. No, it's just you're giving people what they want. Doesn't get any better than that. Entertainment, be the entertainer, and embrace the fans. Peace, fellow humans.